Hi, it's Mark from Remarkable Speaking. I'm here with Yad Saloum of InSync Physio in North Burnaby, and we're going to talk about specifically what is carpal tunnel syndrome. How are you doing, Yad? Good, Mark. How are you today? Good. So what is it? So yeah, carpal tunnel syndrome. It happens to be the most common type of intrapid neuropathy out there. It counts for about 90%, we think, of all neuropathies because it's so prevalent in their population. And what it is, it's some form of compression of one of our nerves called uh, a branch of the median nerve that feeds the thumb in of our first three or, th or four fingers, depending on the person. So people will tend to come in presenting with varied symptoms like tension, numbness, tingling, burning. I usually tell people it's kind of what you would feel when you'd hit your funny bone. Those kind of symptoms, maybe a little less severe, but it tends to be a little more recurrent and debilitating for some people. And what do people typically, if people come in and they think, okay, the back of my hand hurts or it hurts when I do this, <laughs> is that carpal tunnel? So the back of the hand tends to be something else. We have another nerve that supplies the back of the hand. You could have something from the neck that affects both, and that's a different story. This position can compress the carpal tunnel, but then we would, for us to have what we think as carpal tunnel, we'd have to have some sort of sensory symptom or even maybe weakness of the thumb for in the palmar area. So that's where we would assess, because that's what that nerve that passes through the carpal tunnel will innervate and feed. So Back aside, you know, it could be related to something else, but it definitely wouldn't present that way with carpal tunnel syndrome. And so you hear it a lot about people using mousing and doing that. Is that, are they getting it in here or are they getting in like more of the, along in the forearm? So you could have stuff in the forearm because your nerves have to travel through here. So that same median nerve has to travel through the front of your forearm. So you could potentially get stuff there from repetitive work. For mousing, again, on its own, like, I mean, there's a lot of people who can mouse and not have symptoms. And then there are some who just can't cope with it. So there's some individual variability. You can get that. But this is where I think us being very good at looking at where is this thing coming from? is really crucial because you have a lot of people who think they have carpal tunnel, but it's actually somewhere else in the forearm, in the neck and the shoulder, where that nerve is just getting sensitized and they just happen to feel a little extra in the hand. But if it's not kind of more limited to that hand and kind of isolated to testing that we do specifically in the hand, we, we wouldn't be able to just conclusively say that it's carpal tunnel syndrome because they could feel it there, but it's not coming from there. Are there any instances where people are kind of in a specific position of some kind that will cause this carpal tunnel syndrome? Yeah, you can have a lot of compression. So if you're kind of doing a lot of this, which stretches the transverse carpal ligament on the neural structures and the blood supply of the hand and wrist, you can get some of these sensations. Obviously, getting tingling once isn't carpal tunnel syndrome, you would have to get this thing where the nerve and the tissue gets repeatedly sensitized. And then you develop a bit of a, let's call it like a lower threshold to like, you'd need a little less to kind of aggravate your symptoms. And then it comes to the point where day-to-day -day stuff, some people will tell you like doing day-to-day -day stuff, like brushing their teeth becomes tough sometimes and, and gripping and basic things like that some yoga athletes that we've seen who are very, you know, dedicated when do this regularly and hold long, long positions. Yeah, it's possible. Definitely. But again, it's one of those things where just doing it once or feeling it once doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have or that you have carpal tunnel syndrome, but it's definitely something that we would assess. That's one of the key things we'd look at is what is actually the provocative movement or movements and how do we change or offload that potentially as we take them through a treatment. Carpal tunnel syndrome. If you need some expert help, the guys to see in Vancouver or in North Burnaby or InSync Physio, you can book at InSyncPhysio.com, either location, or you can call them. Vancouver is 604-566-9716. North Burnaby is 604-298-4878. Get expert help on your hand issues. Thanks, Yad. Thanks, Mark.